good to see you today. Well, today we're here to talk about words. We're here to talk about words have power. So we need to be careful what we say and how we say it. Because God has given us a mouth and God has given us a brain and we need to be careful how we use them to worship him and build people up, not pull people down. Wow. But before we get into our jam lesson today, before we talk about words and words having power and how God wants us to use our words for him, let's do some worship. Let's get up on our feet because today we're going to do Sunday School Swing. We haven't done this one for ages and this is awesome. So get up on your feet, do some dancing. If mum and dad are around, say, mum, come check this out. Dad, come and do this with me and let's do some worship together. Are you ready? Sunday School Swing. Here we go. the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E, the B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. I've been waiting all week long for Sunday to come so I can sing my song, have a little church and do our thing. Everybody's rocking to the Sunday school swing. The bad love Jericho, Jericho, Jericho. Josh of the bad love Jericho, and the walls came tumbling down. Josh of the bad love Jericho, Jericho, Jericho. Josh of the bad love Jericho, and the walls came tumbling, tumbling. So I can sing my song, have a little church, and do our thing. Yeah, everybody's rocking to the Sunday School Swing. Ooh, the Sunday School Swing. He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 He's got the whole world the whole world in his hands. Kick it up now. Oh yeah. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine. Oh, the Sunday school swing. Jesus loves me, this I know. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. So good. So good. But right now, let's talk to the jam leaders and helpers and ask them about words, and ask them about how we should use our words. Let's see what they have to say. Hey Jammers, it's Tom here. All right, so this week we're talking about our words and how sometimes our words can be helpful and good, other times our words are not helpful and they're kind of bad. And I was thinking about, okay, is there a somewhere in the Bible that talks about words? And I thought, yeah, there is. 
in the book of James, it talks about being slow to speak. And being slow to speak doesn't mean that you talk really slow. It just means that you're careful with what you say. And before you speak, before you say anything, you think, hmm, is that going to be good or is that going to be a bad thing to say? So I was encouraged by that, that when you speak, be slow to speak. Think about what you're going to say because it might be helpful. It might not be helpful. So have a think about the words that you say. Hi, Jammers. It's Sophie here. Hope you're all doing super well. This week, we are looking at words. So have you ever been having a bad day and things just aren't going well? And then someone comes alongside you and they give you an encouragement or they give you a compliment or they just say something really nice and it just gives you a burst of energy and it helps you to keep going through the day and it makes you feel so much better. That's the power that our words can have on people. Our words have the power to give life and encouragement to our brothers and sisters, or they can be not very nice and they could be very harmful as well. So that's why we need to be wise with our words and show love to our brothers and sisters. So in Proverbs 15 verse 4, it says, Kind, wo kind words heal and help, cutting words wound and maim. So when we speak kind words of encouragement, to the people around us, we're bringing help and healing to their heart. But when we speak rudely and we gossip and we slander and we say mean things to them, they are like our words are like cutting wounds and they hurt them. Proverbs 16:24 says, "Gracious speech is like honey clover, clover honey, good taste to the soul, quick energy for the body." So not only do our kind words help people feel loved and appreciated, but it gives them energy to keep going throughout the day. Like the example I said at the start, how if you're having a bad day and then someone comes and gives you a kind word of encouragement, you just have all this energy to keep going, even if you weren't feeling the greatest. In Matthew twelve thirty four, it says, the mouth speaks from the overflow of the heart. So if we want to be speaking kind words, we have to make sure that our heart is filled with God's love and with God's peace and his grace so that we can be sharing that through our words to the people around us. Our words are also a really good way to see what is in our heart because if we find ourselves speaking meanly about people or not speaking nice words, we can see that that's a fruit of what's in our heart. If we're speaking meanly, there must be some not very nice stuff going on in our heart. So then we can pray and we can ask Jesus to help get rid of those nasty things in our heart so that we can share love to the people around us. Because our words are so powerful and we can use them for good to encourage the people around us and to bring God's love to everyone. Thanks, Jim, guys. That was so good. But now, I wonder what time it is. Do you know? You know it's Jimmy time! Jimmy, are you there? I wonder what he's thinking about today. Hi, I'm Jimmy. I wonder what I'm thinking about today. Are my words really powerful? What does the Bible say? Words kill. Words give life. They're either poison or fruit. You choose. Proverbs 18 verse 21 in the Message Bible. Rash language cuts and maims. But there is healing in the words of the wise. Proverbs 12 verse 18 in the Message Bible. So speak encouraging words to one another. Build up hope so you'll all be together in this. No one left out, no one left behind. I know you're already doing this, just keep on doing it. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 9 to 11 in the Message Bible. Our words reveal or show us what's in our heart. A heart full of love for God will speak good things to everyone around us. So let's only speak nicely to one another. 
encouraging, supporting and showing love and respect to each other. Hey, you can do it. I know you can. Thanks everyone. Let's use our words wisely and encourage each other. Pray for each other. Support each other. And speak well to each other. That's how God wants us to live. Because our words have power. See you next time. Thanks, Jimmy. It's really important that we recognise that God has given us all a gift. And that's being able to speak and to communicate with the people around us. So the way we use our words is very important. That we don't pull people down, but we build people up and encourage them. We use our words for helpful things and not harmful things. Hmm. Have you ever been hurt by someone saying words that hurt your heart? It's a real thing. So we need to be very careful how we use our words. That we encourage people. That we let them know about Jesus. And that we tell them of the good things that God has done. Right now, let's check out today's cartoon. Today's cartoon is about a farmer who sowed seed. Seed is like God's word. And God's word wants to settle in our hearts. Let's check this out. Stories of the Bible. The parable of the farmer. This is Jesus. hey Who is the son of God and the savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. One day, Jesus went and sat beside the sea. A great crowd gathered around him. Oh, hey, everyone. So he got in a boat and told them many things in parables. Okay, listen to this. He told them this story. A farmer went out to plant some seed. As he scattered it across his field, some of the seed fell on a footpath where it was stepped on, and the birds came and ate it. Other seed fell on shallow soil among rocks. The seed began to grow quickly because the soil was shallow, but the plant soon wilted under the hot sun and since it didn't have deep roots, it died. Other seed fell among thorns that grew up and choked out the tender plants. Still, other seed fell on fertile soil. This seed grew and produced a crop that was a hundred times as much as had been planted. When Jesus had said this, he called out, anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. Yeah. Later, the disciples came to Jesus and asked what this parable meant. Jesus said, The farmer plants seed by taking God's word to others. The seed that fell on the footpath represents those who hear the message, only to have Satan come at once and take it away. The seed on the rocky soil represents those who hear the message and immediately receive it with joy. But since they don't have deep roots, they don't last long. They fall away as soon as they have problems or are treated badly for believing God's word. The seed that fell among the thorns represents others who hear God's word, but all too quickly the message is crowded out by the worries of this life and the desire for other things. And the seed that fell on good soil represents those who hear and accept God's word and produce a harvest of 30, 60, or even a hundred times as much as had been planted. Wow, that was such a great story and example that Jesus told his disciples, and he told you and me, that words, God's words, are like seed that get planted in people's hearts. 
When seed, which is words, get planted in the right places in our hearts, it produces fruit for God. So we need to be careful how we use our words because words can be like seeds that can either grow good things or grow bad things. So we need to use our words to speak life for people, to tell them the things of God and that God loves them and to build people up and encourage them, not pull them down. We have to use our words wisely because words have power. And God gives us the ability to share and bring life with the words that we say. So let's be really careful. Let's be really careful how we use our words today and all this week. Be careful how you talk to your brother and your sister. Be careful how you talk to your friends. Be careful how you talk about your teachers and mum and dad. We only want to say good things and not nasty things because our words have power and then that can affect our heart and our heart can get sad if we use bad words and we let those seeds get into our hearts. It can make us sad and not be very helpful. I hope you have a great week this week. Remember, your words have power and use them for worshipping Jesus. We'll see you next week at Jam Online. Bye! Rejoice in the